Okay, in this video we're going to review um, the inflation rate, deflation, and the CPI. So uh, we'll start with this question 15. Press pause and do it if you want. It's calculate the rate of inflation if the C consumer price in, in uh, consumer price index increases from 133.8 to 174.0. Okay. So uh, I'll. I hope you try and press pause and try it and see what you get and then check your answer on the video, right? So I'm going to uh, explain this again now. The inflation inflation is the percentage increase of the consumer price index. So inflation rate is percentage increase of the CPI and of course deflation is the percentage decrease of the CPI but percentage increase of the CPI is of course going to be the increase amount over the initial amount whatever the initial amount is okay so the increase is going to be 174.0 minus 133.8 right whatever that is that's the it's it's increased from here to here and it began it began at 133.8 okay so the initial amount is 133.8 so we subtract that and we should get 40.2 over 133.8 and we should get 0 0.30044 etc so can you give that as a percentage to one decimal place write that decimal as a percentage with one decimal place Okay. So to turn it to a percentage, we move the decimal point one two spaces to the right, and that gives us thirty point. And then there's a zero here, and then after that there's a four four, so we round down. So thirty point zero percent. Okay. Or just thirty percent. Either way is correct. To one decimal place. Question 16. Calculate the rate of deflation if the CPI decreases from 24.1 to 23.6. Press pause and do that one. Then I'll do it. So I hope you press pause and try it. I'll do it now. Deflation, deflation is the percentage decrease of the CPI. To get percentage decrease, So we've got to get the decrease divided by the initial amount. Okay. Now it decreases from 24.1 to 23.6. So what was the initial amount? Let's write that down first. It decreases from 24.1. So 24.1 is the initial amount, right? And it goes down to 23.6. So if you take 23.6 and subtract 24.1 that's what we're supposed to do because that will give us a negative number on the top calculate that and what do you get so you get negative 0 0.5 over 24.1 what does that give that should give you as a decimal negative 0 0.20 sorry 0 start again negative 0 0.020746 etc right and round that to a percentage okay round that to a percentage with one decimal place so it's going to be a negative number the decimal point goes over two spots so it's now two point and to, so a percentage to one decimal place means this seven is going to round up so 2.1 percent negative 2.1 percent right 
Now, if a bolt costs $800 in December 1979 and the price changed in accordance with the inflation rate of 12.5%, how much did the bolt cost in December 1980? Press pause and do that one. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So the increase in the price is in fact 12.5% of 800. And to calculate that, we turn this into a decimal, 0 0.125. Of means multiply, multiply by 800 and calculate that. Okay, so if you calculate that, you should get $100. So the price is going to increase by 100. So the new price in December 1980 would be $900. It'd be 100 plus 800, right? Press pause and do this one. The C consumer price index was 133.8 in December 1990. And 219.2 in December 19 or December 2010. Find the 20 year inflation rate from December 90 to December 10, and then use the inflation rate to figure this, this question out. Okay, at the bottom. So please press pause and try this. Try both of these. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the inflation rate is the increase, so it's gone from here to here. So to get the increase, I get the latest number, 219.2, and I subtract the previous number, 133.8, and I divide, so I get the increase over the initial, 133.8. That's the increase over the initial amount, right? So if we take the top and subtract it, 219.2 minus 133.8, so on the top I get 85.4, divide that by 133.8. Okay, and what do you get as a decimal? You should get 0 0.6382 six etc round that to a percentage with one decimal place press pause and do it if you need to so the decimal point move over two spots and that gives us 63 point and then there's an eight and then we, and we round down because next is two so 63.8 percent approximately is the inflation rate from December 90 to December 20 10 right so that's 20 years inflation rate of 63.8 percent so press pause and do this one if you haven't done it yet if a basket of groceries costs 150 dollars in 1990 and the price increase in accordance with the rate of inflation what would it cost in 2010 okay i hope you've pressed pause and tried it i'm going to do it now so to get the increase we need to get 63.8 percent of the 150 dollars right and turn this into a decimal, it's 0 0.638 as we know, times that by 150, and what do we get? So we should get point, uh, 0.638 times 150. So we should get um, 95.7 or even more accurate 9574 would be even more accurate but anyway um, and we add that to the price so we can take 150 which is what it was in 1990 and it's now going to be 95 dollars and 70 cents more the groceries are and so that will be what two hundred forty five dollars 70 cents. Okay. What will it cost in 2010? $245.70.